We have some new rate bosses and new events throughout the month of May in Pokemon Go. I'm Alex Gum, aka Chicle, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Yes, let's go! Ah, I hate In the last video, we did talk about some rumors about some upcoming events in June, July, and August. Details on GoFest and all that stuff. And then just hours later after I posted that video, we did get some news about the month of May. So we're going to go through that. But before we do, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel for more great content. And let me know in the comments below, what do you think about the month of May? Are they going to conclude the Rising Hero season with a big bang? Well, we're gonna find out. First, just wanted to just say it right there. The research breakthrough encounters are gonna be the same as always. It's going to be the six Pokemon like Furfruit, Gummy, Spencer, Snorlax, etc. Don't get your hopes high about what's gonna be next month's research breakthrough encounter because it's gonna be the same until June 1st. They may either have a next set of Pokemon. Hopefully they're better. Hopefully they all have shiny potential because I don't wanna click on a Gummy and a Parasect all the time and not get a shiny. Let's talk about the spotlight hours first because I feel like these spotlight hours are actually pretty good. Alolan Geodude on May 2nd, it's gonna be two times XP for catching Pokemon. Then on May 9th, it's two times catch candy for catching Pokemon and Ponytail will be featured during that spotlight hour. Next up we have Bellsprout on May 16th, two times candy for transferring Pokemon. So if you catch a lot of Pokemon, do a mass transfer at six o'clock PM on May 16th. Score Rupee on May 23rd, two times XP for evolving Pokemon. Definitely save some Pokemon to evolve and drop a lucky egg so you can get four times XP. That will level you up super hard. You're welcome. And finally, we have Houndar on May 30th. It's gonna have two times Stardust for catching Pokemon. So drop that star piece if you need that. How are the raid bosses and the mega raid bosses? Well, we do have a couple new shinies and new raid bosses in mega raids. So we do have Tapu Bulu until May 2nd. We just got a shiny last weekend, so I don't need to raid for it anymore. We do have Genesect from May 2nd to May 9th, and it will have the shock drive. And yes, it will be shiny. Normally, the ones with the drives couldn't be shiny, but the regular one could. But this time, the Shock Drive Genesect can be shiny. Get your fire types ready. Tapu Fini is pretty much taking over the month of May. May 9th to the 24th. That is almost the entire month. If you're lucky, you can get shiny Tapu Fini. And that is the last Tapu that we need to complete the shiny family. Well, not family, but the shiny quad quartet. I think Quartet's a better word. And then finally, Regid Gigas is going to be in raids on May 24th through June 1st. And yes, it can be shiny. And we haven't seen shiny Regid Gigas in a very, very long time. So hey, these are good raid bosses. I might do just the Tapu Fini and then just take a break. I don't know. I might do the Genesec too. That what the heck. Now for Mega Raids, we do have Mega Slowbro until May 2nd. I already got a lot of good Slowbro and got enough candy to level up to level 50. So honestly, I don't need to do any more Mega Raids or get any more Candy XL for Slowbro. I'm, I'm good. Mega Scizor will be coming back from May 2nd through May 11th. And it is a really cool bug type Mega. And then we get a new Mega this upcoming month. It's going to be from May 11th through the 24th and it's Mega Pinsir. So yeah, it's there for about two weeks-ish. At least it's not as long as like Tapu Fini, but it could be having a high shiny chance of getting a shiny pincer after doing a raid, but we already have a bunch of shiny pincer. We just need the energy for it. And finally, we have Mega Altaria from May 24th through June 1st. Now the big question is, how are the events in Pokemon Go in the month of May? Are they fire or are they weak? The first event is on May 2nd through the 8th and it's an instinctive hero event. This is kind of like the Mystic Hero events. We're going to assume it's going to be the same thing, but it's going to feature Elekid most likely because of the data mine. But hopefully they don't do that whole time research nonsense and we get one encounter and it's done. They need to make some improvements. Otherwise, it will just be bland. We have a raid day on May 6th. We're going to assume Cleavor is going to be on that raid day. If that is, if it's gonna drop shiny, we're definitely gonna rate for that. A Valorous Hero event, May 11th through May 17th. Same thing with the Instinctive Hero and the Mystic Hero. 
we're going to assume that Ponyta is going to be featured in that one. Just like in that previous video when we talked about the rumors. And then we have Elite Raids on May 13th. This is pretty much a makeup event for Regid Drago specifically. Because people in New Zealand and Australia and other places in that region did not get any Reggie Drago because of some glitches and some weird stuff going on and I guess like it was just a mess. Now we were lucky to get shiny, no not shiny, we were lucky to get Reggie Drago but other places didn't. Yeah they kind of screwed everybody over so hopefully they learned their lesson and they can actually make it better. I just know that I will not for sure do this and I asked for that day off because I have something else going on that day anyway so yeah we're definitely not gonna do that one we have a community day on May 21st from 2 to 5 p.m. we're gonna assume that Fennekin will have that community day since it's been rumored if that's the case that would be a fun one to go after since it would be a new shiny and then finally we have question marks May 22nd through the 28th so it's some kind of events that may be new they just probably want to keep it a surprise. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. The raids are looking a little bit better. We have Genesex with the Shock Dry being shiny as well, Top Boo Fini. So if we get like a couple shinies, we'll just stop raiding. Because, you know, if we get the shiny Top Boo Fini early on the month, we're just probably not going to raid for it. And then I might debate on Regigigas because it does look like a really cool legendary shiny. The events are pretty... Uh, well... I mean, when it comes to the Instinctive and the Valor ones, I mean, it just depends if they're going to actually feature spawns. Because the Mystic Hero was a huge letdown, because all you did was a research, nothing else. So they need to fix that. And they maybe they're just trying to focus on big things happening in the summer, like maybe Go Fest or those events that we covered in that rumor video in the last one. So we'll just have to wait and see. Until then, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace out.